Welcome to Elite Invaders. I thought this would be a good one just to demonstrate that your Warlock Eldritch Blast abilities do work in Beholder ma Anti-Magic. I have no idea if that's working as intended. I assume that it is, but who knows at this point. Um, I'm going to go over uh, with the enhancements and, and uh, gear choices that I've made for this level. I'm level 14 now. And just got done doing uh, the two-man DQ heroic raid. We did it in two minutes and 30 seconds. That was pretty ridiculous. Um, but uh, one thing, as a little bug that I recently found out about, is that um, your energy criticals epic past life stance, when you first log in, you need to deactivate it and reactivate it for it to kick in, at least for it to display in the spell power tab here. You know, whether that's just a display bug or not, I don't know, but just to be on the safe side, at least for now, you're going to want to toggle that off and on when you first log into that character which is using that stance. And speaking of stances, I've decided to change up, instead of using Colors of the Queen, use Fast Healing, since um, it's just going to give me some more healing on, on this tune. I'm also using the Morning Lord Past Life stance, instead of traditionally, uh, when I'm a Druid, I would use the Shardark High stance, this gives plus 30 light spell power because I've, I have it stacked three times. It's plus 10 per stack. And then using brace for the saves. And then skill mastery plus three to all skills are the same two that I've been using. So for gear, um, I did uh, put on the Concordant Opposition Goggles, so there's some lots of goodies there to benefit from, even though it's definitely not as helpful on a Warlock as it is a traditional caster. Uh, using the uh, Blue Dragon Scale Armor. It's got Potency 52 on it, very nice, although I have for my three damage types, which is Light, Sonic, and Force, I already have higher than that elsewhere but it's got Universal 6 uh, lore, and so it's the only source I have of lore for my light damage. Spell Pen 2, not sure that, that helps me too much. And got the Braces of Wind, this is the level 15 version. I've got a Shard of Masterful Craftsmanship on that, so it reduces the minimum level by 2, and that's just, I'm using that for permanent blurry, and the dodge 6%, none of the other stuff there is helping me. I uh, got a crafted ring. It's got kinetic lore, 14%, and evocation focus 2. And still using the feather falling boots of melee alacrity, 10%. That's a crafted item. Strength 6 on the gloves. Using the circle of hatred. This comes from the abbot raid that gives insight 30 for melee uh, damage. That's not going to help me too much, but it's got intimidate 15 and resistance 5, so those are both very nice for me. Con 6 on the belt. Nothing else going on there. Charisma 6 on the cloak. I could, I should probably put a little something something extra on there crafted, but I just don't really feel like there's anything else that I need. Uh, the Blasting Chime. I had this version in the last video. This is really nice. I'll have the next level version uh, for my next video. Great for uh, the Enlightened Spirit Pact, because you got your Sonic Damage and Lore and evocation focus, although that's redundant. I already have re evocation focus too on the ring. Uh, using the silver flame talisman, give me permanent death block and uh, absorb some negative level uh, draining. And then still using the green steel mineral to helmet, lots of extra uh, hit points there. Fortification protection five, very nice. This is a new item for this level, Fanion. Uh, this is a beautiful shield. This comes from the Shield of Legends turn in in Upper Necropolis. This has both Mithril and Twilight on it, so it has zero arcane spell failure. So all that's one of the things I had in my earlier videos for Warlocks. I was, had a little bit of arcane spell failure. Now I have zero starting at level 14 because of the shield. It also has Arch Magi, 200 bonus spell points there, Greater False Life. And then the purple slot, which I have slotted up with a Ruby of Impulse 66. You probably know by now, but maybe not, that you can get your uh, level 12, 16, and 20, and 24 augments uh, in Giant Hold using just relics. I think the level 24 versions, though, you need the combinations of heroism that you get out of the raid uh, there and caught in the web. 
but uh, the lower level versions are very, very cheap to purchase with relics. And this is a nice little uh, morning star here. This is the Star of Eerie and comes from a Tempest Spine Raid. And it's got two slots on it. Uh, one slot I have Ruby of Radiant 66, helping my light spell power. And then the other slot I just put a Meteoric Star Ruby in there for fun. It's a plus four Holy Righteous weapon. So not too bad. That's a minimum level eight um, morning star. So your Warlocks are going to be proficient with it. Uh, very nice item. Probably should have better by now. Uh, but I'm still using it for now. And I just realized that I am now proficient with all martial weapons. Uh, the fourth innate tier here, if you look at the bottom there, there it says you, you gain proficiency with all martial weapons. So pretty awesome. I could be using my green steel uh, lit to scimitar, but you know, I, I wanted a I have Radiant slotted on the Morning Star, so I'm just going to keep using it for now. Uh, so let's see. I just picked up Stricken. So I had to spend a couple extra points here to get up to the Tier 2 ability. So I just I got four Universal Spell Power here and two Melee and Range Power with Hungry for Destruction. So this is a single target Chaotic Damage spell. Uh, pretty cool. And then it has some additional effects of, uh, let's see, it reduces the healing amplification of the target, but they can save against the healing amplification uh, penalty, but as far as I can tell the way it reads, they can't save against the damage. Now, I haven't even played with this yet, and I only have it up to tier 1, which is 4d6, but by the time I get it up to tier 3, it'll be 12d6, so I, I can't wait to play with that, and hopefully in the next video I'll have more to talk about there. I uh, also got my tier 5 abilities and my main tree, Enlightened Spirit. Um, these have been tons of fun. So the Spirit Blast is a second uh, burst that you get. So you got the Eldritch Burst and then the Spirit Blast. These are on separate cooldowns, each 5 seconds. So I got two bursts. I mean, it's just <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Uh, just plowing through everything. Burst, 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 burst. Uh, just complete easy button, like I said in my last video. Now's the time to do Warlock because they're very OP, and it's just it's just really easy to just to fly through all heroic content. So if you want to knock out a past life, like I said, now is the time. Uh, and that burst looks a little bit different. I'll show you real quick here. Uh, it's just I got here's the traditional burst or the lower tier burst. You've seen me do that before, and then here is the the, the higher power burst. It's just got a little extra little extra effect there. They need to give it more oomph though. It's just a little better sound effect maybe would be nice. Uh, and then I've got this thing. It's really cool. Uh, this shining through. Gain a sacred bonus to temporary hit points equal to 15 times your constitution score that lasts 10 minutes. And then for 20 seconds you get uh, some healing amp. So I'm just going to hit that real quick here. You see my hit points go you know, including the temporary hit points on 967. Uh, it's ridiculous. So it's not exactly self-healing per se, but uh, it's it's really nice nonetheless, and that will be really handy when tanking stuff. And then I've got this displacement spell-like ability, uh, so I can cast endless displacements. Pretty freaking cool. Uh, and then my tier four aura of menace. This is. I believe that's exactly the same as the Favored Soul Aura of Menace. You project a 15 meter Aura of Menace, decreasing the saving throws, attack, and armor class of nearby enemies by 2. And your Eldritch Aura um, now affects enemies every 3 seconds. It starts off every 5 seconds, then 4, 3, and it gets... Uh, it'll go up to down... or it'll go down to every 2 seconds. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Pretty much have everything in my main tree that I'm going to end up with. If they fix the shield, then I'll get that. I'll probably get an extra point of Charisma or Constitution, and then I'll fill out the innate. But there's none of this other stuff I'm going to bother with. This, These three here are all affecting summons. I assume that affects charms, too. I don't know for sure. I'm not interested in these. Well, actually, Brutality I will um, take because if I... Well, I can't select it right now to, to show you, but I believe that can affect the the hate you generate with spells, so I'll want to get that once I start getting serious about tanking like in epic levels, but for now I don't need that. 
this just gives plus to heal balance and intimidate skills so I probably will get that later again for, for the tanking but it's not important in these heroic levels resist energy you know I'm not interested in that I can use a wand if I really need that and we got ship buffs too so uh, and then this thing here this beacon gives me some healing amp that's another thing I'll probably get though by end game too healing amp is always nice okay enough of that let's kill some beholders oh uh, also pick up the uh, I have, yeah, the Everd, Everd's Black Tentacle spell. I don't think I have any other spells worth noting. But that does a lot of damage, and it does, uh, what's, what's really nice about it is it does bludgeoning damage, so you got like a physical damage type with your spells. So that was really handy, and like taking down the pillars in Von Six, for example. No sweat on the boulders. She is ridiculous. Let's hit these Therak hounds with our new attack. This is the chaotic. I didn't even see the numbers. buttons memorized yet. Okay, so here's the, the chaotic thing. 106 damage, so no big deal, but uh, hopefully that will be quite a bit more significant when I get that up to tier 3. Let's show you the, the tentacles though here. I'll get a group of mobs together and show you what that looks like. Alright, let's get some tentacles going. So it, it can entangle them up, and even if they make their save against that entanglement, then they still move slow, slower, I guess. So it does some damage. It's pretty nice. At this point, I would normally be wearing my um, Bio Blasphemy gloves from the Abbott raid. I think they got Dexterity, which is nice, uh, but you know they also have UMD. Don't need that on a Warlock. You know they're already so good with the UMD skill, and then uh, you know it's got the Mana Clicky. I haven't even. I don't even have. They're in the bank. Almost all my Mana Clickies are in the bank. I just don't even need them. I still have not shrined this entire life, and. Uh, you know, no no reason for me to load those up. So I don't have a dex item right now. That actually would help. I'm not maxing out my dexterity bonus. So I should have. That's something I should have. But it just hadn't been an issue. So I haven't bothered. You know, been blowing through this stuff so fast. Oops.
It just doesn't even seem fair. I haven't played a tune that could clear mobs out this fast. Uh, just, you know, since you know, years ago, and you could cast Whale the Banshee every three seconds, and that was when it killed everything, not just, you know, now it's it can kill up to two mobs every two seconds, and for six seconds or eight seconds or whatever, you know, it's nothing like what it used to be. And, the, and then the cooldown on it now is a minute. I think it's 50 seconds for Sorks, but it used to be three seconds and it killed everything around you, so it was just whale, 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 whale. <laughs> so it feels like that those days, except, you know, you didn't get whale till level 17 or 18, and now you get, you get these bursts, you know, really early on. Remnant. Hope they come out with some new stuff to get for these remnants. They got about 10,000 of them in the bank now. But it's, it's nice because, you know, there's a lot of augments that you can get now. I've definitely been taking advantage of that. In the beholder, where did I miss that? Hmm. Thought I cleared everything out. Ah, oh, crap. Yep. Here it is. Ooh, he stoned me. I haven't done this mission in quite a few lives. It's pretty quick, it's good XP. Give me the 120 optional. Hey, 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube. And if you happen to be on Saralona, you are welcome to send me a tell.